I'm Matthew uh, Lippincott. This is Stuart Long. We're from the Public Laboratory for Open Technology and Science. And um, as, Bra as Brady mentioned, um, we sell uh, balloon aerial mapping kits. And our whole organization got started around an initiative called Grassroots Mapping, um, which was teaching people to do low altitude um, aerial imaging just with balloons and kites. And it all just starts with our hardware, which is uh, these balloon kits. We have 350 um, balloon kits out there right now and 340 uh, maps on our site. Oh, here we go. So these, these tools are extremely easy to use. We can train anybody on them, and it's about just simple hardware that uh, allows you to get the imagery you want uh, when, it, when you want it. It's about temporal resolution as well as, as well as spatial resolution. And this is Lake Merritt. And you can see this is, we're not blurring out, we're not graying out the satellite data at all. You can see how high resolution, uh, low altitude imagery is, how you get more detail, you get more color, you get more contrast. And you, know, you pick your resolution, you pick your time to fly. And with this system, you can see all the details on the ground. You can really do the analysis you want. And this whole map was built in MapNitter, which is our free open source online uh, browser-based map creation tool, where you can sort and, stit and uh, stretch images that you collected over existing satellite data to create uh, a new map. And from there, you can uh, embed it on your website, ec download and um, download a, a printable version, print directly to your house, have a print version shipped to your house, or load it into our archive, which is a clearinghouse for our data. And if you set public, um, public domain permissions, that data will get synced with other data carriers like Google Earth. So it's a very powerful tool that is extremely simple to use and free. It can also handle multispectral imagery. So we launch camera pairs, modified infrared cameras and visible light cameras. And from there, we can do uh, analysis on vegetation. We're getting towards quantification that will allow us to analyze photosynthetic activity on the ground for you know, extremely low cost. But my favorite piece of hardware we have isn't something we sell. It's these uh, camera protectors, which our users build. We build them right out of juice bottles, uh, soda bottles, any uh, PET plastic bottles, and they're wind stabilized uh, and extremely impact resistant. And this is you know, the kind of hardware which we couldn't manufacture something this high quality, let alone you know, fill it full of delicious sugary beverages for folks. So they work really well, and they are kind of an example of our philosophy, which is if you can solve it with something simple like a rubber band, don't stick software in it. You know? and we're trying to open up scientific research for just about anybody to participate in. And that gets to more than just our licensing. That gets beyond uh, you know, Sierra-like licenses and CERN open hardware licenses to the actual tools and materials we use. You know, rubber bands and string are things that anyone can participate in. And so by choosing those accessible materials, we can produce superior outcomes uh, because of participation. So we're going to be uh, next door in the suite talking and demoing hardware. We can talk about this and our other uh, tools that we are developing. And um, thanks a lot.